Hi, this is Noah, and in this Noah Tech Info video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a client computer to your Windows Server 2008 R2 domain. So, let's begin. If we go into Server Manager, you can see that our domain is called noahtechinfo.local. And our IP address is 192.168.1.182. And in order for this client computer to connect, we are going to need to switch over to our client computer. And I will teach you how to do that now. Okay, so we are now inside of our uh, client computer. Please note that you cannot use a home version of any operating system. You must have a professional or ultimate version of your operating system. Please note that, uh, that um, your functionality will be limited depending on what functional level that you chose during Active Directory installation. Anyway, we right, we go into computer. So we begin to start. We right click, right click computer. Go into properties. Click change settings. Change, and now we're going to give the domain name, which is Noah Tech Info dot local, and click OK. And now we're going to log in to the administrator. And now it tells us we are now in the domain. And now we're going to need to restart our computer. So we will do that. I'm also now going to speed up the process as it can take some time. And now we just need to log in. Now note that we that whenever you're going to other user and whenever you you're logging into the administrator, type in Noah Tech Info forward slash No it's forward slash Noah Yeah it's Uh, tech info slash backslash there we go back backslash not not forward slash backslash and then type in administrator and the same password that you have used to log into the actual server note you will not need to do that if you are using um, standard users it will only need to be applied if it's the administrator. All right, and now we are in the client workstation. And as you can see, if I'm going to compute, start, right click computer, Go into properties. You can see we are now a member of the newer tech of local domain. And now we are back in our uh, domain controller. And if we go into Active Directory users and computers, we're going to computers. You can see our computer here. And if you go into properties, you can see it's you can see that it's the right computer. Also, make sure that you always add users to a group, to the groups, um, so everyone can log in and click OK. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you'd like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.